hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be a fabric haul i have some um spring fabrics that i want to share with you and also i will be sharing with you like my plans on what i'm going to do with these fabrics so this time when i bought these fabrics i actually had like a proper plan on what i'm going to use them for i didn't just buy fabrics because i tend to buy fabrics and just never use them like i have like some fabrics from last year which i actually regret because it's waste of money but hopefully i will find some projects in the future to use them for but this time i actually planned everything before i go to the fabric shop i printed my patterns i did all my research and so i only have like four fabrics to share with you today and it's going to be four items of course but this is more of like a spring into summer because we already in spring now so it's like more of like a spring into summer fabrics so i will definitely do another one maybe like when we are in summer to make like summer items but this is going to be most like spring items like spring dresses so the first fabric that i have is this floral crepe that i'm going to be using for a wrap dress so i found a pattern from all mother my diy which is a spanish um blog she also has like a youtube channel so i will put the pattern pictures here so you guys can see what i'm talking about so she has like this wrap dress with ruffles and she used like a crepe fabric and it looks really really nice hers was made with like polka dots so i found this one and i fell in love with it it's simple it's flowy so it's gonna be perfect for that wrap dress but what i'm planning to do especially on top here is not to have like the spaghetti straps like the one she has is to have like a ruffle sleeves so i'm gonna have to work around the pattern and try to make exactly what i want to make and i got two meters i hope two meters will be enough for this for this pattern and she also has like ruffles on the bodies going down here which i'm not gonna make i'm only going to do that the ruffles in the bottom and the ruffle sleeves so i hope two meters will be enough and the second fabric that i have is this black with uh pink roses and this is a viscose so there's this dress that i've been looking at like on instagram like it's a really really cute dress it's simple and a pattern that i saw a lot of people making this dress from is by true buyers it's called the shelby dress so i've been like wanting to make a similar dress for the longest so i found a pattern from peppermint magazine which i will put right here and this dress is simple it's so cute so what i'm planning to do with this dress is to add sleeves and also add like ties in the back so i've got two meters of this viscose and this is what i'm going to be using for this um pattern and i also have like buttons as well to correspond with the fabric and the third fabric that i got is a cotton fabric and this is like red with white daisies i think these are like daisies these little flowers so what i plan to make with this fabric is the infamous shared dress the shared sh sharing shared dress that everyone and their mother has been making like since last year so i've seen like a lot of people like making like different versions some people make it into like just one big piece and have like maybe a side um a side seam one side seam or a back seam and some people make it into two with two side seams and it's just like one big fabric going all the way down so what i plan to do on mine is to make like a body separate and a skirt separate with different measurements so mine is going to have two side seams so it's going to be two pieces for the bodies two pieces for the skirt and um two sleeves and for the sleeves i plan to make like a short sleeves similar to these ones but they're gonna be puffy like that french girl look so this is what i'm going i plan to do and the inspiration for this dress is this one that i saw like audrey rivet wearing on instagram but hers was made with a linen fabric and it looks really really cute and also like as you can see here on the bodice piece um she doesn't have like that 
ruffly thing it actually has like a casing for the elastic the same casing that she has on the sleeves so that's what i'm planning to do and also like make sure like the sleeves join properly to the body so i'm gonna have to do to create like a c shape on the body so that the sleeves can like sit properly and sorry for the noise rain is actually here with me and she's busy playing with her legos so yeah i'm sorry for that but yeah so i've got 1.5 meters of this cotton fabric but it's actually a lot of fabric this is one of those um curtain size like 240 centimeters not a hundred and fifty centimeters so it's actually quite a lot of fabric and for what i'm planning to do i might have some fabric left maybe i'll make a baby version for rain so we'll see how this goes i think this is going to be my first um project and i also picked up like sharing elastic threads to make this dress and the last fabric that i have is this wine colored um silk chamois fabric and i plan to make a bias skirt like i've wanted to make this skirts for the longest and i always thought they would look like weird for on me but now i'm ready to give it a try because i've been like really really eyeing especially when i see one of the ladies that i follow on instagram her name is tenil i will put a picture here she always wears like this bias um skirts and bias like slip dresses and they look really really cute and as for the length i'll probably do like a knee length i love the fact that i can just wear it with my sneakers which is what i always wearing i can just wear it with my sneakers or like with simple sandals yeah so this is what i'm going to be using and the pattern that i'm going to be using for this skirt is by mood fabrics and it's called the indigo skirt it's a bias cut skirt and they also use like a silk chamois fabric so this is what i'm going to be using for this skirt it's a free pattern i will link all the patterns in the in the description box below and i'll also link them in the videos also for this pattern i'm gonna have to like work it around because the original pattern has um the elastic and i plan to put the side zip instead of having the elastic so i'm gonna have to maybe like reduce the waist so i'll probably have to make like a mock-up first with like an old sheet or something so yeah this is the last fabric that i have so yeah these are all the fabrics that i have for now and yeah so i'm going to be busy this week and i promise you guys i'm going to film everything so yeah you're gonna be seeing a lot of these videos and i removed my braids after a month there was like they started falling off especially at the back and it's getting like really really hot so yeah i'm going to be sliding in some hair tutorials in between but i'm going to focus more on these items so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on my next one bye